Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is pretty much going to be a full-on voiceover style video. My vocal cords were not up to par at the time I filmed this, so basically just ignore my mouth moving. This is going to be my first Halloween video of the season. This was actually supposed to go up a couple days ago, but I was late because my voiceover clearly was not coming out the way I wanted it to. But in this video, I will be showing you guys how I turned a dollar store broom into a not-so-dollar store broom. The one I'm showing you, I actually purchased from my local dollar store. It's just purple and black. And they also have orange and black, depending on your dollar store. And this is what the finished one looked like. This is my sister's broom. So in this video, we're going to be working on my broom. <laughs> If you guys want to see how I did that, please keep watching. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you guys want to stalk me on social media, my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook links are down below. Facebook.com slash Eye of the Night Art, as well as my friends' links. So please make sure to keep watching. So, some supplies that you're going to need would be a broom. It doesn't matter where you get it from. These are just ones that I bought from my local dollar store. Again, they have them in black and purple and purple and orange. And some matte tool to make our bottoms thicker. I bought black and orange and these were about a dollar to two dollars at Walmart. This was purple glitter. This is optional. I didn't really end up using it because it wouldn't stay on it. This was also from Walmart some beads for the decorative aspect to give it that kind of shiny look. These are gold and silver ones that I've had for a while. Some bats or and or other Halloween decor. You'll see more coming up soon in this whole thing. If you guys, if you guys remember in the vlog for Amber's party when I was decorating. I got these acrylic gems. I actually got them before because I wanted to do a look with them um, in the future, but these are going to go in the top of the broom. So some skeleton garland. This is from Dollar Tree and it really works well because the size for this project. Some zip ties. You can find those anywhere. A hot glue gun with some hot glue if you guys are doing the same kind of brush or brush broom I am why do I keep saying brush uh, some LED lights this is completely optional we have them in purple and orange for the Halloween ones and then we just are putting out Christmas ones not too too long ago so those are all different colors so this is completely optional but if you guys are gonna do it the same way I also got those from Dollar Tree I use a wooden dowel when I'm gluing stuff down some mini screwdrivers to help with the holes if you guys are doing it the way I am so I would just watch this whole video through before you even decide to do anything pretty much some scissors would help if you want to do larger holes but this kind of helps get a bigger hole so I didn't mention this, but this kind of seems like a duh thing. I use a metallic sharpie to mark out where my holes are going to be in my broom, where this light is going to show through to kind of make it a little more magical. I tried putting them in through the top and it didn't really give me the result that I wanted. Plus I had no place to put the battery pack, which was annoying as heck. So I'm pretty much marking out dots almost parallel to each other on different sides with a purple metallic sharpie because oh, why would it be any other color at this point? So if you guys are doing the method that I'm doing, this also helps if you are going to be gluing down beads too like I am. That is also a tedious process. Make sure to not burn your fingers because that is the worst part of this whole thing. And I'm pretty much just going down to like the last quarter turn of the broom because I need to have room for the battery pack to sit and I'm taking the mini screwdrivers and I'm starting to puncture holes inside or on the outside for this broom so that way the light shines through at night. Um, this is a great DIY to do for your kids or to help them decorate with and then 
I just kind of keep going up from there. It doesn't really matter. I wouldn't poke too many holes in it, only because these things aren't as sturdy as they look sometimes. And I definitely poked myself a few times. I thought I was going to cut my finger off a couple times because the way I was holding my scissors. But I can't help that. So, your battery pack, make sure there is the lights working on it when you have the batteries in. It takes double A's, and what I'm pretty much going to do is feed them up through a little bit just to make sure that you can see the light in it. Cut our colored of beads that you want. I only did one only for the sake of time and decorativeness. I didn't want to draw too much attention to the full pull of it because I had to deal with the lights later and I wanted to do a couple other decorations so this was very very time consuming. So what you want to do is find out where you want this to start and want this to end. I went until almost the second to last turn. That way I had room for the battery pack. I also put this on the black twisted part of the broom. That way it did not sit on and or ruin the purple ribbon in my opinion because that's how I liked it and I did silver for mine. So taking the hot glue and starting from the top, making sure that I don't really cover any of those holes I just punctured in there, I'm going to start gluing those down. And if you have any excess, you can cut that off or you can tuck it into the top. There's a ribbon with the broom that I got, but I cut mine off because I didn't like it. So tucking the top down on my broom, we are going to start making this little thicker. I'm taking the black tool. I chose black minorly, or majorly, not minorly. So what I'm going to do is start cutting off strips of it. These weren't too, too big. They were maybe about the size of a regular napkin, I want to say, in terms of the length of these. And I cut like maybe 10 or 20 at a time. It doesn't really matter. It's pretty much all up to preference at this point on how much you want because everyone is different and I know that but I did a few here and there I did not add any orange in the top but I folded these over in half and then I kind of not crinkled them but like folded them in a point and I shoved them into where the seam would technically be and I hot glued them in also using that dowel to make sure that I did not glue my nails in, my fake nails, because they would have melted, because I don't have any, like, real, real long nails, and I'm super mad about that. So we're basically going to go around the whole broom doing this. This is going to help hide the battery pack if you're going to do a light up broom like mine is and what I did was do it on the bottom as well you're gonna do the same process around and around and around starting from that bottom edge all the way out I did one strip of orange enough just to kind of see it and then the rest was black finally getting to that skeleton garland we are going to take it around the top kind of loop it around almost uh, with the ties and we are going to tie it at the top. I had enough left over that I can use mine to hang on something. I did it almost like one of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies where the skeletons hung kind of weird and I thought it just kind of gave it a little more spooky effect without being too scary about it. And taking our zip ties, we are going to zip tie that battery pack into the back where that would end. So we are going to feed the lights up through it as far as you can go because you want some of those lights to be in the bottom of the broom so that way you can see it. Enough to be in the bottom, but not enough to be, you know, bluntly showing, like, hanging down, falling out. So I'm taking a dowel and kind of pushing those up there as far as I can. And then zip tying the battery pack around the base of the broom behind the top where the tool would have been to hide it. And that is why I did mine with black because... 
I thought it just hit it a lot better than another color would have. And essentially, after you glue the acrylic gem at the top in, you're pretty much done. I mean, unless you want to add anything else to it. But this was the coolest tutorial I have done by far. I also created the Hocus Pocus book on my Facebook page. I did not make a tutorial on that only because I pretty much went off of Sea Lemon's tutorial and did it my own way pretty much in terms of the way I did it and I thought it turned out great. So if you can't figure it out, my sister is going as Winifred Sanderson and I'm going to be going as Mary Sanderson. So I will have a tutorial coming up on my channel before Halloween, I hope at best. So these are our brooms and this is how bright mine is and this is how bright it's going to be in the dark. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I enjoyed making this broom. I love teaching other people. I love making my own props. It's great. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. While you're down there, please make sure to subscribe. To please make sure if you want to go stalk me anywhere on the internet. My Facebook page is down below. Facebook.com slash I of the Night Art as well as my Twitter and Instagram where I'm always doing stuff on there. And not posting on here because I'm a bad YouTuber apparently. So if you guys like this, please let me know and leave a comment below if you're excited for Halloween. If you'd like I am. And I will see you guys in the next video.